I'm here at the conductor's podium in the Eye Center. Now, while many of us may be familiar with the magic of Harry Potter, how many of us know about the magical music of devotional? Hey guys, I'm over here. Welcome to the choir. I'm here with Brother Busselberg, one of our choir directors. Now, how do you prepare for a devotional? How many choirs are there that perform? So we have between four and six choral ensembles that participate in devotionals at each semester. Each ensemble has about two devotionals to perform for, and we spend most of the semester preparing for those devotional performances. And how is it different for you performing here in the auditorium or another concert hall? So this space here in the Eye Center was designed to be an acoustically dead space. Uh, in other words, um, we can't really hear each other very well when we sing in this choir loft, as opposed to a concert hall where we can hear one another pretty well. And so we have to spend some time adjusting to that. We have to change the way we sing and the way we're listening to one another. And how do you help your choir portray that emotion you look for in devotional. We spend a bit of time on that, focusing on the message, focusing on the gospel aspect of the text. And then we also have to spend some time making sure that that message is on our faces, looking in the mirror, uh, making sure that our faces are reflecting the message that we're singing. We also have to be careful not to look right at the camera or right at the monitors that are here on the stage. Well, thank you for all the work you do. We appreciate the music. And if you ever have an interest to perform in Devo, find any one of the concert directors, they'll be able to help you. Thanks for tuning in and take a break for Devo.